How's it going guys and welcome to Gaming Evolved, I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking about a comparison on Battlefield 4 between PC and console. Now before we get into it, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we do post Battlefield content daily. Now before we get started on just kind of the comparisons and all that, if you guys decide to start a console war or I guess a platform war in the description below, I will block your ass and then you will not be able to do anything on our channel. And it's just really annoying to see all those types of comments, so if you do have any constructive feedback, be sure to leave that down in the comments below because that is very helpful and it's very insightful to other people, but just don't be a wanker, I think that's pretty straightforward. So one last thing I have to say before we get into it is that I'm not trying to make any statement about PC or console on which one is better because it really just depends on the person and what their friends have and really just what they want to use it for. Now the first difference I wanted to talk about between PC and console is the graphics. Now this is probably one of the most popular arguments on on platform wars just the PC has such better graphics and for most games that's pretty true some aren't optimized well and it's pretty similar but for Battlefield 4 it is optimized quite well and so you really do notice a lot more detail better particle effects and you can turn off motion blur completely which that was probably one of the biggest things that really annoyed me on console is motion blur and especially when you're going through gameplay trying to get thumbnails and that type of thing it's really helpful to just have a clear image of what you're looking at so definitely PC has some better graphics but keep in mind that I do have a $300 processor and like a $340 graphics card running in this so it's already pretty much two Xboxes just for those two components. Now the next difference I wanted to talk about was servers. Now this one actually really surprised me because on Xbox One at any given moment there's anywhere between 40 and 60 servers running Conquest Large that I could find with a really good ping. Now keep in mind that's leaving out just about every other game mode and there's probably other ones in different areas with different pings, so it really does depend on where you live, but for someone who lives in the West US, I was getting about 50 good servers at any given moment for Conquest Large. Now, when I moved over to PC, or I guess bought a PC, because I still play both, I was expecting there to be a ton of servers, just a lot of variety, and just a lot to choose from. I would never have to worry about not being able to find the map I wanted to, and when I logged on a couple of days ago and I log on now, there's usually around 10 to 15, sometimes 20 populated Conquest Large servers. Now, I think the big thing is there's a lot of just custom servers and there's so many more options to do on PC than there is on Xbox One because you have the basic kind of map rotations, ticket count, all that type of stuff. But then there's a lot of different things you can do with PC just to make the servers so much different than they are on console. And right now I'm not sure if I actually like this because I do just want to play Battlefield. And so it was kind of intimidating coming from something where you had like 50 servers to choose from into something where you had about 15 of just highly regulated servers with rules and random things like that. But most of the time you can hop into a round, have a lot of fun, and it really isn't all that different. So just something to note, but not really that big of a difference. So moving on, the next difference I wanted to talk about that really this is just going to be something that I have to adjust to is using a mouse and keyboard versus a controller. Now yes, you can use a controller on PC, but chances are you're just going to get covered in feces because as most of you should know by now, mice tend to be a lot more accurate than joysticks, but on the trade-off, joysticks tend to be a lot more smooth and natural for movement. So I definitely feel a lot more clunky moving around on PC, but my aim is so much better than it is on Xbox One. So that's kind of something that's a lot different and it's going to take a really long time, or hopefully not too long, for me to actually get used to using the keyboard because rather than just clicking buttons on a controller, you have to kind of memorize where all the keys are and I'm, I'm just trash at it. So that's just something that's probably going to go away as I get used to it, but definitely a notable difference. So moving on, the next thing I wanted to talk about is probably the biggest downfall of a PC and that is the price point because if you think about it, an Xbox One console right now is like $350 for pretty much everything you need to play Battlefield 4 and that's going to be able to run it at a decent resolution. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't think it's quite 1080p and it's going to be able to run it pretty smoothly with very decent textures and it's really well optimized for an Xbox One. Now while there are people on the internet who try and build, I guess, console killer PCs and they have videos and and they're like, destroy your Xbox One, build a PC. Typically, if you build something in the $400 price range, I honestly just think it'd be more worth it to just get an Xbox One or a PS4, solely because it's gonna be easier to install and if you do have a PC that low, you're probably going to suffer with some performance issues, not get as good a frame rate as you really should be, and honestly, it's just going to be a lot easier to pick up an Xbox One, get a steady frame rate, and be able to have some fun, some enjoyment, and then you can spend the extra money you saved on games. So if you're spending less than like four or $500, 
I would just look into a console and then just get a ton of games. That's kind of just my personal opinion, but for my PC as an example, I spent around twelve to thirteen hundred dollars on the actual PC, but keep in mind I'm not just playing games. I'm rendering, editing, sometimes we're gonna be doing some live streaming, we're gonna be doing a ton of different things, and I want to be able to just completely destroy any game I play. So I kind of went a little overkill, and really if you wanted to get into PC gaming, you could spend way less than me. Like this is kind of just overboard in a lot of different ways. But anyways, if you guys do want to build a cheap PC, I really wouldn't spend less than five or six hundred dollars. That's just kind of my personal opinion. So that's kind of where the PC kind of loses a lot of lust for people, is that it is a lot more expensive, and for the price of like two Xbox Ones, you could buy a pretty decent PC. So I'm sure with that last argument, I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying you can build a $400 PC and it's just as good, but that's just my personal opinion as I would go with a console at that price range. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And just remember, Battlefield is Battlefield. Doesn't matter if you play it on a PS4, Xbox One, PC, or if you just homebrewed it on a 2008 DS Lite. I don't really care. Battlefield's Battlefield, we all love the game. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Tell us what you think in the comments. What do you have? Go check out our Twitter, and until next time, guys, stay buttery.